This short video is dedicated to talk about cancer gene panel DNA test, which is specifically designed to look for cancer hereditary predisposition. DNA testing options in cancer are quite complicated. There is a broad array of different tests, so let's quickly review them and compare that to tests we are talking about here. So cancer DNA tests can be divided into two categories, those that are dedicated to cancer patients themselves or cancer survivors, as well as those that are dedicated to unaffected family members who are afflicted with cancer history. For family members who are unaffected, they can take a predisposition DNA test that looks for the genetic material that they've inherited from their parents that might predispose them to cancer development, and the purpose of this would be to take mitigating actions. When it comes to patients, there's a number of different options. So cancer biopsy could be tested. And while there are a number of different benefits of that, the primary purpose of this is to select treatment options. Cancer patients can also undergo predisposition testing. And then finally, they can analyze their genetic material that they were born with for treatment selection as well. And this type of test specifically is referred to as pharmacogenetic test. And we'll contrast that with the treatment selection based on biopsy testing. We'll refer to that as targeted therapies. This particular test specifically looks for hereditary cancer predisposition. Let's quickly review what a gene panel means. It refers to looking at or analyzing very specifically selected genes. Each gene panel can have different number of genes being analyzed. Gene panels can range from just a one to two genes being looked at to literally well over 100, if not hundreds, depending on what type of test is being investigated. This particular gene panel looks at multiple dozen genes. However, constantly different genes are being added as more medical information becomes available and more clinical information is being validated. So what are the advantages of cancer predisposition gene panel testing? Number one, you determine whether there is hereditary component that might have been contributing to your cancer. And if that is discovered, whether in a cancer patient or anyone else in a family, it can trigger testing of the remainder family members for them to be able to see if they might be at risk of cancer development or not. What is really interesting about this test is that if such a mutation for cancer predisposition is found, then the remainder of all of the family members will be tested for free. There are certain conditions for this, and the primary one is that there is a certain time limit to when this free option of testing is available, and all of the family members will be tested specifically for the mutation that is being uncovered. Another benefit of this predisposition gene panel testing is that for cancer patients, it can also, in some instances, help with selection of treatment. What is also very unique about this particular test and very powerful about this test is what kind of data it investigates. And let's go over that one by one. First, let's define what genetic testing for predisposition is. And that is looking for specific mutations in selected genes which are known to either confer higher risk of cancer development or are highly suspected of increasing such risk. So typically these mutations are expected to have pronounced impact. However, you can also look at what is referred to as polygenic risk score. And that is looking at dozens if not even hundreds of different mutations each one of them having very small effect in size, but collectively could dramatically influence the final likelihood of de developing cancer. And this particular test has clinically validated this and now offers such polygenic risk score for family members who have not yet developed cancer, but whose families have history of cancer. And these polygenic risk scores can be used by doctors to stratify their patients into different categories of increased or decreased likelihood of cancer development risk. As far as we know, this might be the only such polygenic risk score that is commercially available and clinically validated right now in the world. Very unique and extremely useful feature for doctors. Currently, this has only been developed for breast cancer as well as prostate cancer. 
and it can only be guaranteed to work effectively in a Caucasian population because the development of the risk score was based on that ethnic group. The other very unique aspect of this test that makes it so powerful and stand out amongst different gene panels available for cancer predisposition testing is the fact that like all other cancer predisposition gene panels, it looks at mutations within the DNA, but unlike any other gene panels, it also looks at mutations within the RNA. And currently, this is the only test available on the market that looks at both DNA and RNA mutations that is clinically validated to look at that information. And the reason why this is so powerful is because together, such information increases the accuracy of the test. Or in other words, it increases the likelihood of discovering information of value for a patient. In terms of what kind of information is being investigated within the DNA, like all DNA sequencing tests, it looks at any specific changes within the code of the DNA down to a single base pair information but also it looks for what is referred to as structural changes, which are alterations within the DNA code that affect large segments of DNA. And this test looks for that type of information in specifically selected regions of certain of the genes that are known already from past historical data to be important in increasing the predisposition of cancer development. Finally, in terms of exclusions criteria, like all DNA tests, any individual that has undergone bone marrow transplant will not be eligible for this test because in essence, having such a transplant introduces new foreign genetic information within the body and it makes it extremely difficult to be able to determine information with high level of accuracy, whether mutations uncovered might be from the DNA that you were born with versus the DNA that has been introduced into your body through a transplant. Therefore, any individuals who have undergone bone marrow transplant will be excluded from this test. So I hope this information helps you understand what cancer gene panels are all about, and it helps you with the selection of the appropriate test for your needs. Thank you very much for your attention, and all the best with your DNA test selection.